You know, I was uh, debating with, uh, online on Twitter with, uh, with an unrepentant homosexual, and he was, he was laying out his life. And I just told him, I was like, look, Jesus is worth leaving everything that you want in this life behind because you love Jesus more. That is what he has called all of us to. If you want to keep your sin and follow Christ, you're not following Christ. We have to forsake sin and follow Jesus. And he is worth it. He is worth forsaking. He is worth, as he said, denying yourself, picking up your cross and following me. That is what Jesus demands of us. Denying yourself. Denying what you want. But oftentimes people, when they come to Christ, they think, um, they think it's like putting glasses on their face. They're adding Jesus to their lives. You know, it's kind of like adding exercise to your life. He's going to make my life better. That's why, I, that's why I want Jesus in my life. Let me ask you a question. Would you follow Jesus if it's going to make your life worse? You realize that for most of human history, if you followed Christ, your everyday life would be worse based on the world's standards. Oftentimes it costs people their livelihood, costs people their reputation, costs people friends, costs people family to follow Jesus. And some, many, lost their very lives to follow Jesus. When you look at the New Testament, almost every one of the disciples except John lost their lives to follow Christ. And they considered that better than anything that the world offers. It is better to have Jesus than anything this world has and offers you. Jesus is better than health. He is better than wealth. He is better than prosperity. In other words, Jesus is priceless. And if you've got him, you've got something that the world desperately wants but refuses to leave sin behind to get. And we must be a people who are set apart for God's glory, who are willing to leave behind our wants and desires to follow Jesus and to trust him, to enjoy him forever.